importing and programming a .hex file with MPLABX is actually quite easy. The first step is to make a project. You can create a project by clicking on the New Project icon in the upper left hand corner. The first step is to choose the category. Choose Microchip Embedded. Then under Projects, choose Pre-built Project. Then click the Next button. On this screen is where we select the .hex file we want to import. You click on the Browse button and then find the .hex file. In this case it's test16f1937.x.production.hex that I want to load. So I highlight it, then click Choose. You need to verify the proper device is in the Device window. If it's not, you can manually enter it or select it from the drop-down menu. The programmer that you'll use to load the .hex file should already be connected to your computer. It should show up as a serial number. Here, just like Picket 3, I click on the serial number and then Next. The name of the project will be the same as the .hex file, only with a .prebuilt at the end of it. The location will be defaulted to where the .hex file was located, but you can change that by clicking on the Browse button and selecting a new storage location. Set as Main Project will be enabled to make this the main project in MPLAB X. Now click on the Finish button and your project will be created. The project will now appear under the Projects tab in MPLAB X. If you click on the Pre-built Files folder, you'll see the .hex file that you loaded. If you click on the Dashboard tab, you'll see information for the project you created. The device name will show up, along with a checksum value for the .hex file. So now we're ready to actually program the .hex file into the microcontroller. We click on the Make and Program button. This will start a process that will show up in the output window. A caution message may appear reminding you to verify the proper device is connected. You can click on the OK button to eliminate this screen or click on the Do Not Show This Message Again so it doesn't pop up in the future. Each step of the programming process will appear in the output window. First the Target Detected message and then the Device ID message. A programming message will appear followed by a program slash verify complete when the programming is completed. And that's how you import a .hex file into MPLABX and program it into your target device.